Okay, hello, ever hello everyone, hello subscribers, thanks for watching videos, my videos. This is my Elecraft KX1. I actually built this about 10 or 11 years ago, soon after I became a ham up in the Chicago area. I don't live there anymore though. But that's why my call sign has a 9 in it. And actually, uh, where I'm at now, everyone has zeros. so. Anyway, I'm, this is going to be a quick start guide to using the Elecraft. This is a KX1. This is a QRP radio, um, less than 5 watts, usually you probably get 2 to 4 watts out of it, and it has it tells you pretty much what it thinks it's putting out. It has, I bought the internal antenna tuner, which is installed in here. I'm going to go over everything I know because I am digging this out for the radio. There's a, a river runs through it, QRP contest tomorrow Saturday and I'm gonna I dug this out I'm gonna take it and use it and make a video about it but I forgot how to use it so that's what this is about I got the manual I went on Google and I typed in KX1 manual and the very first thing to come up is a PDF and towards the end on page 62 there are instructions on how to operate it I'm not sure if this comes with it or not but I own the gear that sort of designed to go with it and all you do is you plug it in here you can plug any key in by the way it has a standard universal port um, you can put it in this way or you can swap it around if you're left-handed and put it in that way I'm gonna put it in my way okay, so I'm using this uh, little towel here to prop the radio up so it's at a better angle so you can see it better what I have, what it has is a 12 volt power supply, which I already have, actually, and I think it can handle up to 14 volts. It also has uh, AA batteries that you can put in it. And in the instructions, it gives you a little table about the batteries you might. So we've got the 12 volts here, and we've got the paddle, and the other side we have, of course, the antenna, and this has no speaker, so you're going to want headphones. You're going to have to use headphones. We won't be able to hear anything today because of that. On the back, there is a little potentiometer inside of there. I believe that's what you call it. If you turn it all the way to the right, it's on full power and you can actually lower the power. Okay, so this radio can be a little confusing if you don't know what you're doing. You don't get much output. All you get are these three, possibly up to three numbers or letters, and some of them will get cut off and so forth. So let's go through it real quick. First of all, you do get a little lamp. There's a little LED light. It doesn't put out much light, but it actually says in the instructions that it puts out very... It's, it runs very, very low power. So don't be afraid to use it. You know, I've always been kind of afraid to use it because I didn't want to run my battery down. But what it says in the instructions is that this is supposed to be used to illuminate a logbook. So it says the white LED is extremely efficient its current requirement varies with supply voltage from about 5 milliamps at 7 volts to 15 milliamps at 14 volts. So I wouldn't be afraid to use that. It uses very little power and if you need it, use it. Okay, let's start with the face and the knobs and then we'll go to the menus. So what we have is the AF gain and all it is is all the way left, all the way right. The AF gain sets the receive audio output level. So I basically just think of that as a volume knob. I set it all the way to the right. The filter, I also start out to the right, all the way to the right. And once I hear a station that I want to listen to, you can lower that to filter the other stations out. And the RF gain can be set here. Normally set fully clockwise, can be rotated, rotated counterclockwise to attenuate strong signals. So I start out with all these to the right. Okay, so the menu, let's go ahead and turn it on, by the way. I have it set at 7 megahertz. So if you hit, first of all, you need to know that there's single taps. There's double taps. That just changed the frequency. And then there's hold. Those are the three different things you can do with this. You can do the same thing here. Single tap. If you go, this is your main button here that should that should take you back. I hit you end up hitting band a lot because you want to know where you're at. 7.043 is where we're at right now. And then it jumps to more detail, 43.1. For this knob, this rotates your frequency 
up and down. You can tap it once, tap it twice, tap once 10 hertz, tap twice 100 hertz. If you hold it, by the way, when you hold it down, notice that there's white on top, yellow on bottom. Tapping will, will activate the top uh, items, menu, band, RIT. Holding will activate the yellow. That's how you know the difference. So let's look here. I'm at 10 hertz. I'm going up at 10 hertz at a time. I want to go to, I believe. No, now I'm 10 hertz at a time. Hit it again, and I jump back to 100 hertz. So we go back and forth between jumping 10 and 100 hertz. Now, if I want to go 1 kilohertz at a time, hold it down. Now again, I'm on 7, you have to remember, you're on 7 megahertz, 043, and now I'm going really fast. Let's say I want 7.150. 7.150. Now I want to dial it in a little bit. I'm going to tap it, figure out where I am again, 7.150. 150.1, .1, 0.2, 0.4, 0.5, 0.6, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18, 0.19, 0.20, 0.21, 0.22, 0.23, 0.24, 0.25, 0.26, 0.27, 0.28, 0.29, 0.30, 0.31, 0.32, 0.33, 0.34, 0.35, 0.36, 0.37, 0.38, 0.39, 0.40, 0.41, 0.42, 0.43, 0.44, 0.45, 0.46, 0.47, 0.48, 0.49, 0.50, 0.51, 0.52, 0.53, 0.54, 0.55, 0.56, 0.57, 0.58, 0.59, 0.60, 0.61, 0.62, 0.63, 0.64, 0.65, 0.66, 0.67, 0.68, 0.69, 0.70, 0.71, 0.72, 0.73, 0.74, 0.75, 0.76, 0.77, 0.78, 0.79, 0.80, 0.81, 0.82, 0.83, 0.84, 0.85, 0.86, 0.87, 0.88, 0.89, 0.90, 0.91, 0.92, 0.93, 0.94, 0.95, 0.96, 0.97, 0.98, 0.99, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18, 0.19, 0.20, 0.21, 0.22, 0.23, 0.24, 0.25, 0.26, 0.27, 0.28, 0.29, 0.30, 0.31, 0.32, 0.33, 0.34, 0.35, 0.36, 0.37, 0.38, 0.39, 0.40, 0.41, 0.42, 0.43, 0.44, 0.45, 0.46, 0.47, 0.48, 0.49, 0.50, 0.51, 0.52, 0.53, 0.54, 0.55, 0.56, 0.57, 0.58, 0.59, 0.60, 0.61, 0.62, 0.63, 0.64, 0.65, 0.66, 0.67, 0.68, 0.69, 0.70, 0.71, 0.72, 0.73, 0.74, 0.75, 0.76, 0.77, 0.78, 0.79, 0.80, 0.81, 0.82, 0.83, 0.84, 0.85, 0.86, 0.87, 0.88, 0.89, 0.90, 0.91, 0.92, 0.93, 0.94, 0.95, 0.96, 0.97, 0.98, 0.99, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18, 0.19, 0.20, 0.21, 0.22, 0.23, 0.24, 0.25, 0.26, 0.27, 0.28, 0.29, 0.30, 0.31, 0.32, 0.33, 0.34, 0.35, 0.36, 0.37, 0.38, 0.39, 0.40, 0.41, 0.42, 0.43, 0.44, 0.45, 0.46, 0.47, 0.48, 0.49, 0.50, 0.51, 0.52, 0.53, 0.54, 0.55, 0.56, 0.57, 0.58, 0.59, 0.60, 0.61, 0.62, 0.63, 0.64, 0.65, 0.66, 0.67, 0.68, 0.69, 0.70, 0.71, 0.72, 0.73, 0.74, 0.75, 0.76, 0.77, 0.78, 0.79, 0.80, 0.81, 0.82, 0.83, 0.84, 0.85, 0.86, 0.87, 0.88, 0.89, 0.90, 0.91, 0.92, 0.93, 0.94, 0.95, 0.96, 0.97, 0.98, 0.99, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18, 0.19, 0.20, 0.21, 0.22, 0.23, 0.24, 0.25, 0.26, 0.27, 0.28, 0.29, 0.30, 0.31, 0.32, 0.33, 0.34, 0.35, 0.36, 0.37, 0.38, 0.39, 0.40, 0.41, 0.42, 0.43, 0.44, 0.45, 0.46, 0.47, 0.48, 0.49, 0.50, 0.51, 0.52, 0.53, 0.54, 0.55, 0.56, 0.57, 0.58, 0.59, 0.60, 0.61, 0.62, 0.63, 0.64, 0.65, 0.66, 0.67, 0.68, 0.69, 0.70, 0.71, 0.72, 0.73, 0.74, 0.75, 0.76, 0.77, 0.78, 0.79, 0.80, 0.81, 0.82, 0.83, 0.84, 0.85, 0.86, 0.87, 0.88, 0.89, 0.90, 0.91, 0.92, 0.93, 0.94, 0.95, 0.96, 0.97, 0.98, 0.99, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18, 0.19, 0.20, 0.21, 0.22, 0.23, 0.24, 0.25, 0.26, 0.27, 0.28, 0.29, 0.30, 0.31, 0.32, 0.33, 0.34, 0.35, 0.36, 0.37, 0.38, 0.39, 0.40, 0.41, 0.42, 0.43, 0.44, 0.45, 0.46, 0.47, 0.48, 0.49, 0.50, 0.51, 0.52, 0.53, 0.54, 0.55, 0.56, 0.57, 0.58, 0.59, 0.60, 0.61, 0.62, 0.63, 0.64, 0.65, 0.66, 0.67, 0.68, 0.69, 0.70, 0.71, 0.72, 0.73, 0.74, 0.75, 0.76, 0.77, 0.78, 0.79, 0.80, 0.81, 0.82, 0.83, 0.84, 0.85, 0.86, 0.87, 0.88, 0.89, 0.90, 0.91, 0.92, 0.93, 0.94, 0.95, 0.96, 0.97, 0.98, 0.99, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18, 0.19, 0.20, 0.21, 0.22, 0.23, 0.24, 0.25, 0.26, 0.27, 0.28, 0.29, 0.30, 0.31, 0.32, 0.33, 0.34, 0.35, 0.36, 0.37, 0.38, 0.39, 0.40, 0.41, 0.42, 0.43, 0.44, 0.45, 0.46, 0.47, 0.48, 0.49, 0.50, 0.51, 0.52, 0.53, 0.54, 0.55, 0.56, 0.57, 0.58, 0.59, 0.60, 0.61, 0.62, 0.63, 0.64, 0.65, 0.66, 0.67, 0.68, 0.69, 0.70, 0.71, 0.72, 0.73, 0.74, 0.75, 0.76, 0.77, 0.78, 0.79, 0.80, 0.81, 0.82, 0.83, 0.84, 0.85, 0.86, 0.87, 0.88, 0.89, 0.90, 0.91, 0.92, 0.93, 0.94, 0.95, 0.96, 0.97, 0.98, 0.99, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18, 0.19, 0.20, 0.21, 0.22, 0.23, 0.24, 0.25, 0.26, 0.27, 0.28, 0.29, 0.30, 0.31, 0.32, 0.33, 0.34, 0.35, 0.36, 0.37, 0.38, 0.39, 0.40, 0.41, 0.42, 0.43, 0.44, 0.45, 0.46, 0.47, 0.48, 0.49, 0.50, 0.51, 0.52, 0.53, 0.54, 0.55, 0.56, 0.57, 0.58, 0.59, 0.60, 0.61, 0.62, 0.63, 0.64, 0.65, 0.66, 0.67, 0.68, 0.69, 0.70, 0.71, 0.72, 0.73, 0.74, 0.75, 0.76, 0.77, 0.78, 0.79, 0.80, 0.81, 0.82, 0.83, 0.84, 0.85, 0.86, 0.87, 0.88, 0.89, 0.90, 0.91, 0.92, 0.93, 0.94, 0.95, 0.96, 0.97, 0.98, 0.99, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18, 0.19, 0.20, 0.21, 0.22, 0.23, 0.24, 0.25, 0.26, 0.27, 0.28, 0.29, 0.30, 0.31, 0.32, 0.33, 0.34, 0.35, 0.36, 0.37, 0.38, 0.39, 0.40, 0.41, 0.42, 0.43, 0.44, 0.45, 0.46, 0.47, 0.48, 0.49, 0.50, 0.51, 0.52, 0.53, 0.54, 0.55, 0.56, 0.57, 0.58, 0.59, 0.60, 0.61, 0.62, 0.63, 0.64, 0.65, 0.66, 0.67, 0.68, 0.69, 0.70, 0.71, 0.72, 0.73, 0.74, 0.75, 0.76, 0.77, 0.78, 0.79, 0.80, 0.81, 0.82, 0.83, 0.84, 0.85, 0.86, 0.87, 0.88, 0.89, 0.90, 0.91, 0.92, 0.93, 0.94, 0.95, 0.96, 0.97, 0.98, 0.99, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18, 0.19, 0.20, 0.21, 0.22, 0.23, 0.24, 0.25, 0.26, 0.27, 0.28, 0.29, 0.30, 0.31, 0.32, 0.33, 0.34, 0.35, 0.36, 0.37, 0.38, 0.39, 0.40, 0.41, 0.42, 0.43, 0.44, 0.45, 0.46, 0.47, 0.48, 0.49, 0.50, 0.51, 0.52, 0.53, 0.54, 0.55, 0.56, 0.57, 0.58, 0.59, 0.60, 0.61, 0.62, 0.63, 0.64, 0.65, 0.66, 0.67, 0.68, 0.69, 0.70, 0.71, 0.72, 0.73, 0.74, 0.75, 0.76, 0.77, 0.78, 0.79, 0.80, 0.81, 0.82, 0.83, 0.84, 0.85, 0.86, 0.87, 0.88, 0.89, 0.90, 0.91, 0.92, 0.93, 0.94, 0.95, 0.96, 0.97, 0.98, 0.99, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18, 0.19, 0.20, 0.21, 0.22, 0.23, 0.24, 0.25, 0.26, 0.27, 0.28, 0.29, 0.30, 0.31, 0.32, 0.33, 0.34, 0.35, 0.36, 0.37, 0.38, 0.39, 0.40, 0.41, 0.42, 0.43, 0.44, 0.45, 0.46, 0.47, 0.48, 0.49, 0.50, 0.51, 0.52, 0.53, 0.54, 0.55, 0.56, 0.57, 0.58, 0.59, 0.60, 0.61, 0.62, 0.63, 0.64, 0.65, 0.66, 0.67, 0.68, 0.69, 0.70, 0.71, 0.72, 0.73, 0.74, 0.75, 0.76, 0.77, 0.78, 0.79, 0.80, 0.81, 0.82, 0.83, 0.84, 0.85, 0.86, 0.87, 0.88, 0.89, 0.90, 0.91, 0.92, 0.93, 0.94, 0.95, 0.96, 0.97, 0.98, 0.99, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18, 0.19, 0.20, 0.21, 0.22, 0.23, 0.24, 0.25, 0.26, 0.27, 0.28, 0.29, 0.30, 0.31, 0.32, 0.33, 0.34, 0.35, 0.36, 0.37, 0.38, 0.39, 0.40, 0.41, 0.42, 0.43, 0.44, 0.45, 0.46, 0.47, 0.48, 0.49, 0.50, 0.51, 0.52, 0.53, 0.54, 0.55, 0.56, 0.57, 0.58, 0.59, 0.60, 0.61, 
I believe this is how long it delays after you transmit before it goes back to the listening mode. This is the message repeat. This is the message repeat in interval RPT. Input device selection. It says this is where you can select hand key or external keyer or internal keyer uh, PDN or PD PD normal or PD R. Not sure what that means. But you're gonna have to play with it. The next item is the iambic mode. It says with a two lever paddle, you can use iambic keying. Look that up if you don't know what iambic keying is. It has something to do with the way you hold down the keys. All right, the next one is CFB. A lot of these I don't use. A lot of these menu items I don't use. This is the CW feedback control. This is the S meter, zero set, BFO calibration. DDS calibration. This is the band module that comes with a B30 or B80. B80. Depending on what you have installed, you can have more bands because you can buy separate components that go in here that have more bands. And here's where you would set it. By the way, I have, if I haven't mentioned it, I do have an internal tuner that I bought for this. It's inside and I built it. This is the battery low voltage warning set. So if I hold menu down, you'll see it's at 10. So if it, my voltage drops below 10, you'll get a warning and you know not to keep going beyond that. So next is the antenna tuner mode. This has many other modes that it can use. It gets pretty complicated. There's actually a different manual for the internal tuner. And it says here, see the KXAT1 manual which you can Google it and download for the details on that. But since I have a tun antenna tuner, I set it to ATU. If you wanted to change it, you'd hold this down, change it to something else, but I don't. I want to keep it on tuner. The next thing is the... This is the RCL STO. This is Frequency Memory Recall Store, which I don't use that because there's not enough uh, need for me to do that. This is the play and record. I believe you can have up to two messages. You can record a message as CQCQ, CQ, and it says in here to play, tap one or two, to record, hold edit, to switch to record, then tap one or two. Um, I'm not going to get into the details of that, but you can record a CQ message. You hit edit, and you can hit record, and then save it. Um, the details of that are in the instructions, but you can record a couple messages. This also has other receive mode. You can only output in CW, but you can receive in lower sideband and upper sideband. You hold the menu and RIT to select the desired mode. Let's give that a try. Menu RIT. See the. All you do is you hold it and it changes. Normal, LSB, USB. And then you can listen to those, but you cannot transmit anything other than CW. This little rig uh, QRP rig does a lot more than that and but this is a quick start guide I wanted you to get you get you started I wanted to learn all this myself I've actually made this video for myself because I probably need to look at it in the future I hope this helped this, this isn't a full review or anything I'm gonna be taking this out in the field tomorrow for the river runs through a QRP contest the idea is you're supposed to go find a river and sit by it, and you get a times three multiplier if you do that for every contact you make. So I'm gonna go give this a test, even though the bands are dead, as everyone says, they're dead right now. Uh, I'm still gonna go give it a try. So I got this little Pelican case for the KX1 and I've had it in here a long time. I really like this case. They're coming out more and more with uh, cheaper knockoffs, which I like because these are so Pelican. I think they overpriced their items, even though they are really good and I like them. I think they're overpriced. Anyway, I was going to show you how I put this in here. I've got a little space for my knobs and dials. 
I've got my little keyer here, which comes out. This thing works pretty good. It's a little sensitive, but it works pretty good. When I was doing, when I did, uh, first got my, this radio, I was doing a ladder line coming out of this ballon from this, uh, as this antenna. And I had the ladder line going up to a dipole, which I made, and it worked really, really well. It was 33 feet on both sides. Ladder line, like I said, coming out of here. And it split both sides, 33 feet, 40 meters. It worked really well. So I keep this in here, even though I haven't used it in a long time. I'm going to keep it in here. Got a little space for my odds and ends. I don't like my power cord I made, so because this end is not making a good connection. I don't have the right size. These things kind of annoy me, these types of connectors, because you never have the right size that I need. So I put my wires and I could put an antenna. This uh, particular radio can handle, it, it can handle like a really basic antenna. It even tells you that it can, like just simple two wires literally coming right out of the radio, one up high, one down low. Here's my case. Rock solid, never had a problem. Um, I like these cases because I know even if my daughter steps on this in the back of the van, it won't get...